but here we are. We're at Large Oil Rig, or Lagoil. We are on Builder's Paradise, just in case you guys are wondering. Um, Builder's Paradise is a PvE, and what this entails is uh, when somebody does damage to you, it does damage back to them. The only thing we have to worry about here is the bleed damage from the scientists, and then we'll be able to walk through this. So I thought I'd do a tour of the large oil rig on the testing branch currently. Um, I'm actually bouncing around here. And it is on Builder's Paradise, and we did just recently hear that this is going to be removed from the testing branch. At least um, we're like, what, mid-December 2021. Uh, this will come back in. This will come for the main branch at some point, but they said they wanted to test things with this. Uh, they also wanted to make sure that it ran smoothly. Small oil rig will still be in the game, uh, but we'll take this rare opportunity to walk through the large oil rig to give you guys a heads up. Also, we did have a chance to play this on testing branch, and we've actually run large oil rig itself uh, to completion and we we live next to it so it, it was quite um it was it was a lot of fun actually so i'd recommend people to come in here and try it as as much as you possibly can and uh, don't be afraid of it these things are difficult so here we go large oil rig tour let's go get it all right so the scientists are going to start capping me here um real quick we'll have a full guide on this but um I just like to tell people, um, small oil rig and large oil rig are very, very different. By the way, I do have a small oil rig tour as well. I will go ahead and link that now in the upper right-hand corner. Deleep. Go check that out. And again, the small oil rig is staying in for the testing branch, and I have a feeling that will be coming in first to main branch, but we'll have to kind of wait and see how that all works out. Um, yeah, these are very, very different. Small oil rig approach is very different from large oil rig approach. Um, right here, so we've got uh, the flame side, the dock side. So we have a crane over the dock side, so don't get that confused with the other. Um, here's the dock side. The back side here is the crane side. Over here, these guys are going to start shooting at me, which is okay. It's actually going to do damage to them. So this is the crane side. See, there's a crane just way up there, and then this other side right here is the helipad side. Anyway, so what I like to tell people is get a ranged weapon, get some sort of um, compound bow, clear them off of the yellow scaffolding as much as you possibly can, because um, you really will have a hard time making the approach. It's not impossible, but it's definitely difficult. Um, so, especially if you're running it solo, make sure the dock and the scaffold's clear. And then what you really want to do, as we pull up right here, we'll cut the engine, we'll take this out, we'll make sure these guys hit us a lot. Oh, I got see what I mean? I got, there he goes, he finally went down. Make sure you bring an edge weapon with you. Again, we'll just give you some light tips and stuff here because we, um, we'll have like a full guide on this. But uh, what I like to tell people is, make sure this side is clear, this whole face on the dock side. Make sure all the yellow scaffolding is clear before you make an approach. Come up close like this, take out your low grade, and then push up. And engage these guys as quickly as possible and isolate them. When one's got you engaged, try to put the heat on them as much as possible because they are relentless. If they get you two at a time, it's not impossible to get out of it, but it's extremely difficult, especially if you haven't run this before. And that's okay if you have it. And that's why I, I, I tell people with the small oil rig as well, just keep trying it. You're going to get wrecked a lot. It's part of it. The scientists are nothing like what you've played before. I promise you that. Oh, hey, cutie. I got to make sure I don't actually bop them back because that's going to be what gets me. See, look, all I got to do is heal. Builder's paradise all day. Man, this is so much easier when they can't uh, hurt you. Finish me. So you have a lot of different scientists that are up here. By the way, I tell people as well, Python and P2 are actually uh, monsters when it comes to this. And I'd highly recommend it. They use pistol bullets. The Python does serious damage. Python, for blue scientists, only takes two headshots. All right, so usually if you're outside, you'd have all this cleared out um, with like a crossbow or some kind of ranged weapon. Then you're going to use the two staircases and pull them individually. If you see one and they're by themselves, push them immediately. It's the best way to run through this. Okay, so we're on level two. What I'm going to try to do is walk around here the best I can. I don't have any of the key cards, unfortunately, to show you. Uh, the full guide will show you how to run through this, but I'm going to try to show you just some little ins and outs and just a basic tour of what to expect here at the large oil rig. Or at least while we can, while it's still in the game for us in testing branch until they, you know, polish it up again and then bring it back in. My guess is it'll most likely come in on a testing branch again at some point, but... I have a feeling they're going to take out large oil rig on the next, and maybe we'll see uh, power surge pretty soon, right? 
All right, this um here yeah, actually let me go all the way around level two. There's all uh, like really nice nooks and crannies to jump up into, and then shoot back from. This is a nice little jump up here. Let this guy shoot me while he does it. Get me, bud. This place is crazy. I, here's what I tell people too. Um, these are difficult. Ooh, I almost fell off the edge. These are difficult in their own right, but here's the kicker. Um, really, you need to worry about other people. That's your biggest threat. Because they can be either on board or coming up behind you. There's always going to be people contesting. By the way, sorry for that engine noise downstairs. That's the glitch currently in the testing branch. Again, this is December, mid-December 2021. So depending on when you're watching this, i either be in testing branch or not in testing branch. Hopefully by the time everybody's watching this, this is on live branch and we're all playing it. But um, the tour still maintains. Uh, this is, I don't think there's any major changes here. So... Um, this should all still ring true even when it's uh, over on Light Branch. Anyways, okay, so this is level two. Just walked around for you. Again, edge weapon to harvest the scientists so you can get more bandages. It's uh, key. We're going to go upstairs on this side. This floor is interesting because you have this little indentation up here at level three. Let's just get me. Come on, get me. Get me, dude. Um, it's really cool. On this one, unlike small oil rig. Is this like so loud? <laughs> I feel like it's so loud. Let me try this a little bit. Let me turn on the sound effects just a little bit more. You know what I mean? I'm going to take it down to like 40. These scientists are unlike anything else you've come up against. I know we have junk pile scientists, but they, they're beamers too, but these guys are relentless. Um, uh, one of the differences between small oil rig and large oil rig are these vents on these upper floors, which makes it really great for dumping aggro and healing. And you will need it if you've played at all, either on large or small. Those large scientists, I'm sorry, the heavy scientists are no joke. That's cool. You've got these little oil drums everywhere too, so you can also fuel up a boat. Don't forget that. That's a thing. Oh, wow. My bleed is 36. My goodness. Oh, I got a little hazmat suit. Look at me. I'll put that on. Why not? Am I too cold now? Oh, maybe not. Maybe I should put these back on. Yeah, so also pay attention to the biome you're in, too. All right, so this is level three. We'll keep going around. I also tell people, too, um, you can do this with primitive, but you need to really be working the corners and then pushing and falling back, pushing and falling back. Heal yourself. You'll find that you'll burn through a lot of meds and a lot of bandages. That is 100% normal when you're doing this. But, yeah, we're on Builder's Paradise. See these crazy... Um, <laughs> crazy stacks I have. Builder's Paradise you spawn in with super stacks. That's that's what we like to call them. Alright, so I'm going to walk around the outer extents of three. Are we on three or is this four? I forget. I'm sorry. This is the second. Yeah, we're on three. <laughs> I've done this before, but I was I got a little backwards because we had run small a few times and I kept going like, is this the right floor? So you heard those people come up. Very, very common. Thankfully, they cannot hurt me as far as I know. I guess there's one glitch in here where you can get hurt but hopefully they don't know it. So right there under the staircase is a nice cut across if you're on level three. Um, there's also a green card here as well. It does not take a fuse. All you need is the green card. I also would recommend that you bring a key card in that has one fourth of its health. So when you swipe it, you free up a slot and then nobody else gets it. So that's the green one right there. Um, the next floor is level four. And this has the blue key card area. Has a lot of mill crates, also juicy to the max. They come in one fourth. And on our PC version, red cards have two charges. I just feel like that's so loud. They have two charges, but here they have four. So either way, just make sure your red card's almost broken and you should be good to go. Somebody's eating downstairs. All right, so level four, let's walk around here. Is this one is a little more broken up. It's not so circular as the last one. By the way, if you do decide to bring a fuse, this is one of the other rooms you can use a fuse in. There it is. Here's the fuse one. This door opens, and then there's more mill crates. Just so you know, if you ever pull heavy scientists or other scientists, watch out because they can open doors on you. This is the boat drop. I tell people to watch out for this on the... What side are we on? Is this the dock side? Is this the dock side? Or are we on the... We're on the helipad side. Watch out for this right here. Look at this guy. Because the NPCs and players can shoot all the way down into the scaffolding area. 
and it's just kind of a blind spot because they'll creep up on this edge, shoot you, and then kind of duck behind. So, you know, just look out for that. Again, this floor really kind of breaks things up a bit. Just trying to walk around so you guys have a feel for it. But really, there's no substitute for getting in there and getting wrecked by the scientist and other players. You'd be like, okay, so the difficulty level is extremely high. But yes, <laughs> very. All right, so you've got another passageway right there. It comes out into the stairwell, which is very, very, very handy. You have another one that breaks out over here. Let me see. Can I reach it on this one side? I think I can. If I reach this and then jump up on this... Oh, am I stuck? Oh, please no. <laughs> Over here on this piping side is kind of nice, too. Just any place you can dump aggro from these guys is really, really nice. Well, not only from players, but, you know, from scientists. There he is. Hey. By the way, we're on the torch side here. There is a nice way to actually work your way up. I'll try to uh, show you when we're done with this whole set here. Again, you can only have this done like this when you're on Builder's Paradise. Don't think that you can do it like this on a normal server. I promise you it's not like this. So what are we on? Level 5 now? Here's the little passageway. It's just under, if you kind of look down here, whoops, you've got a piece here. And then you can sneak up and um, take a look over here. Uh, it's like where all the piping is, basically. And then you've got a nice little tunnel system here for the vent system. 007 gold knife. Those are the two areas. This should go out over... Oh, no. This one's great. This one's great for um, <laughs> for when you actually pull the heavies. There's usually scientists on... Oh, no. I'm backwards. I'm sorry. Well, there is a scientist on this one. On the floor above us, there's another one that's almost like a lookout. And if you step out here, it's really good to shoot heavies from. Also, recoup. But there is a scientist, so you got to be ready to blast him immediately. Tickle, tickle. Finish me. I drop food for the next guy. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, right here, we've got the... We're on L4. I think we walked all the way across. Because uh, you have a lot of key cards and stuff on this side. Uh, but past here, um, you've got those vents and such. But what's really neat is you've got a lot of different ways to dodge bullets. You can look over the edge. Always be listening for boat sounds, by the way. Always. But what's neat, though, is under this torch side, you can actually climb up the scaffolding and get up to the next floor, which is pretty cool. I'll try to show that at the end. Again. All right, so let's drop down out of this, and we'll head up to the next floor. I just I like how it's broken up on these different levels. I think it's pretty cool. I'm a fan. Right, here's four. This is where things start to get a little dicey. Level five. Now I'm gonna show you that secret room. This is the dead end here. Um, this is okay to shoot from, but I find that heavies and scientists really have good angles on you here, so this is real tricky. Uh, but it's not just the scientists you're dealing with. You're also dealing with players. Okay, so on level five here, just under the stairs, you can get right here. And then take an immediate left, and then another left, and then this is the little platform that I like. It's really nice. I thought it was on the floor below. That's what I'm talking about. I always get confused with the floor. See this guy? Be ready for this dude. Oh, Scooby Tank. Okay. I'll wear that. Look at me just dropping it on the floor. What a jerk. See how this is isolated here? Now, players can jump up this easily, but the NPCs, not so much. So when you're fighting the scientists, a great place to hang back. Let me go ahead and heal myself. See? You can shoot right here. If you jump off the blue crate, you can also jump back up here. So it's nice to clear this one out before these events start, because it's a good place to heal, and you will be doing a lot of healing, I promise you that. Or if your teammates get wrecked and you're waiting for another boat ride for them to come back, good place to hang up. Oh, somebody's opening it. Maybe they'll um, launch the heavies for us. That'd be cool. I kind of hope that they do, because we'll get to see the heavies. So if you come out on this side, we're on level 5 now. I'm just going to walk around for you. Those are the pipes we just came from. A lot of little peak spots from level 6 down into 5, and even some peak downs into the lower floors. Oh, nice! Perfect! 
Heavies are here. Okay, so let's get up to the sixth floor. There's lots of entrances to the sixth floor, so you gotta be extra careful. So when you do actually launch the heavies, you do have to get in and use a red card and a blue card. When you touch the crate, that's when the heavies come in and they land on the pad, and they are nothing you've ever dealt with before. You thought the blues were bad? Nah, son. These are insane. It's totally possible to do solo, but it's extremely hard. See that uh, the Chinook actually lays down cover fire for you? And don't think that these doors being closed are going to save you. They will not. <laughs> they will open the doors. Look at these guys. They're crazy. Sometimes if you have an F1, you can throw them as they come off, which is a good strategy. My goodness, those heavy machine guns are insane. Pretty cool that they actually dropped the heavies for us. That's cool, man. So when they drop off, they spill out of the back and they start to distribute throughout the oil rig itself. Be careful when you pull aggro with these guys because they all group up and they're nuts. No, they're right there. See them? Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. Bleed is at maximum, everybody. <laughs> maximum damage. We just got, since we're on PvE, Builder's Paradise, we just got to wait for them to do all the damage to us. Wow, I thought bandages healed all bleeding. I guess they only do 50. <laughs> they usually distribute a little bit better than this. This is kind of a glitch. Don't let this fool you. They would wreck you so fast. <laughs> I just let them take their course on us. But look at this loot, man. Just trying to show you what different heavies may have. Look at this. Spets M249? <laughs> they take a lot more damage. This is a way you can get um, grenade launchers as well. Just so you know. Go ahead, finish me off. Let's go. Well, there's like two or three right there. Yeah, they don't usually spin out like that. Oh, there's three of them. They are having a hard time. Come on. This guy's stuck. Anyways, heavies are insane. So even if you can't complete this all the way, that's okay. Because a lot of times these scientists will be left behind the blues and the heavies. And you'll be like, you'll just get crazy good loot for nothing. Right? So don't be discouraged by this. You know, you're going to die a lot. That's okay. But keep coming back and trying to skis loot. And then DIP, when you have a lot of loot, come back, man. Drop it off. Bank it, come back, especially if you're solo. This is that insane, dude? They're just like, in your face. Hi! We're gonna finish the rest of the floor. That was nice that we didn't get to see the heavies. That guy just kept himself in the room like he was scared. <laughs> Alright, so we'll heal ourselves here. Always be listening for boat sounds. Uh, I cannot express that enough. It's probably your biggest threat. Oh yeah, including the stairs, you've got this ramp that goes up to the torch. To the sixth floor. Yeah, so when scientists aggro you, whether they're blue or the green scientists, they can absolutely just drop down behind you. There's so many different ways from level 6 down to 5 and on all the other floors, so just really be careful. Or peak downs where they can get to you, so just look out. And even if you don't get all the scientists, what's really great, though, is the blue scientists do respawn. And a lot of people will come in thinking they know how to do oil rig, and they don't. And the, the heavies will just keep walking around. If you've called them in, they'll be around until somebody wipes them out. So what's great is there'll be these heavies mixed in with the blues. And these big groups get wiped all the time. And they just take their kits, you know? Just take them and DIP. We did it so many times. We got wrecked here a lot, but we've also done this. 
and it we you know it was constantly contested so I don't know it made it, it it's a lot of fun it's definitely a lot harder than you think but it was a lot of fun so you know give it a try even if you're solo or a group just give it a try you're gonna get wrecked and that's okay so let's see we might try some of the secret jumps or whatever because it looks like the heavies over there are a little glitched are we on level three Did I go down that far oh I must have oh jeez I almost walked off the edge Auto run, you're bad for me. Large oil rig. It's a blast. Do it. Let me see if I can find another little spot for us to jump out. All right, here's a cool one, right? You can use this to come from the lower level. Let me see if I can get down there and actually show you real quick. I, oh, uh, again, we'll have a full guide for this, but these cranes are not a bad place to hold up sometimes when you're actually doing these. Um, here's how you get up this one. This one is vulnerable to the flame side. The scientist will get back there and shoot at you. Not a bad place to shoot other players, especially if you have range. The opposite crane is probably the most OP because it's got a spot that I don't think the scientist can get you. Players can. Scientists cannot. At least when we did it. Our oil rig is big. It's real big. It's cool though to have an extra uh, world events, crates, and a red card monument all built into one. This one's sketchy, right? You gotta like jump out and hook it. Yeah, <laughs> it's scary. And then when we have minis and stuff, a great place to fly in. Uh, obviously, on the helipad can be nuts. You can fly in on some of the floors down below if you're a skilled pilot. There you go. This crane's probably the most OP. You can really hold up here. So if you're again, if your team gets waxed by some reason, you can really just hold up there or in that one spot downstairs in that little balcony area. It's not bad either. All right, we're gonna drop down a few more floors. I'm gonna show you a couple little jump ups, and then we'll uh, drive around the outside. So you guys can see what the outside or the exterior of the large oil rig looks like again. I'm a little lost. Let's see. There's two jump ups, if my memory serves me correctly. Oh, there's another vent system that leads into this like weird utility closet too. I'm pretty sure we've passed it. Um, also good. So when you come across that, another great place to hold up. Is it from three? I think it's from four and up. We're on the wrong floor, I believe. Oh, maybe not. It's this one. Doot, doot, doot. Hopefully I don't fall down. If I fall down, then we'll just do the outside tour. Because <laughs> I'll be lost. Right here. A little sketchy, but you can do it. Obviously, you want to make sure Mr. Scientist Man is gone. Look, he can come right up here, and then you can go right to six, because there's an actual ramp here for you as well. Boom. You're up to six. So if these are being held by players, a good pl a good way to get up. Is this the other one? It might be. Here, let's see if we can take a turn in one of these and see if we find the utility closet. There it is! I found it! Isn't this cool? I'm a fan. Yeah, have no illusions. The scientists, when these covers do come in, because there's actual grates you use to open and close, the scientists can get to them and open them, so watch out. They also open doors, so you're not completely safe. I'm so used to the flow of the small oil rig a lot because that's the one we run the most, at least on PC. We ran large here and there, but um, yeah, we pretty much been doing it for the entire way over on Testing Branch, and it's been a ton of fun. Hard, but definitely fun. We've done it with two of us. We did it with eight of us. We've done it with six of us. I tried it as a solo. Um, was having a rough time <laughs> of it, but that's that's to be expected. There's one more jump up that's a little goofy. Let's see if we can find it real quick. It's definitely more difficult. We might just leave it for the actual guide itself one of these little scaff oh it's right under the helicopter pad you can use that to climb up to the sixth floor so there you go large oil rig man it's it's awesome 
It's sad that they're going to take it away, but I get it. They brought it in to test it, get the metrics so they can really polish it up and then bring her back in. I really hope we see a uh, power surge that's coming up soon. If you don't know anything about power surge or why it's going to change the game forever, I've got a video on it, and I will link it now in the upper right-hand corner. Go check that bad boy out. I'm telling you, it's a big deal. Get ahead of the game before any of this is a thing. And, uh, yeah, you'll be out there, and people will be like, I don't know how you did all this extra stuff with the with the power and be like i was watching jay monkey baby that's how i knew it's going to be great though even if you're not an, uh, an electrician it's going to be a big deal for all players so you might as well get up to speed now there you go there's the dock side heading over to torch side or flame side Just trying to give you a nice little view here This is the helipad side, or helicopter pad side. And the crane side, which is a little confusing because there's a crane side over the dock side, but it's literally the only one that's left. There you go, large oil rig. Should be gone kind of soon, and then we should be back in, if that makes any sense. So it's always good to learn it now. I'm sure by the time this does come back in, a lot of people will be well-versed on small oil rig, which will get you ready for this, but also not ready for this because large oil rig is definitely a different animal from small oil rig. Either way, it's a great monument. We're all looking forward to having it back into the game. And, uh, yeah, if you found this useful and helpful, be sure to drop a like. It really does help out a lot. And consider dropping that subscribe if you're into it and you'd like to be up to date on all of the news, guides, we do a lot of open world survival. We also do a lot of live streaming. So, you know, drop that subscribe. Turn on those notification bells to all. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, love you. Bye. Oh, it goes into low detail.